today we have uh, uh, Professor Colleen Ward, who is the Professor of Psychology and Director of the Centre. Uh, and she was born in New Orleans, came to New Zealand via England, the West Indies, Malaysia, and Singapore. And she still celebrates Mardi Gras every year at her house in London. <laughs> Adrian Gerling uh, recently started her PhD at Victoria University uh, in cross cultural <coughs> psychology. She is studying the historical discourses of multiculturalism in New Zealand and Canada and how they have shaped and influenced identity. And James Liu is Professor of Psychology and Deputy Director of the Centre for Applied Cross-Cultural Research in Victoria. And he comes to New Zealand via Taiwan and the United States and describes himself as a Chinese-American New Zealander rather than as a Kiwi. And I'm just going to hand over to those three uh, to present this paper uh, which they have prepared together. Uh, and then uh, we are going to have some commentators and then we're going to throw it open to some discussion, hopefully. So welcome, everybody, and Holly. Okay, um, thank you so much for coming to our session today on Confident, Equal and Proud, the Barriers Asians Face to Equality in New Zealand. Uh, it's, to, it's up to me to basically present an overview, Jim, could you change the slide? Uh, present an overview of today's uh, presentation and then to sort of set the scene before Adrian goes on to talk a bit more about the experiences of Asian Asians here in Aotearoa. So essentially what we'll be doing uh, this afternoon is we'll be looking at New Zealanders' attitudes towards immigration and cultural diversity uh, in general and then move more specifically on to discuss Asians in this country, uh, our attitudes towards Asia and Asians, and then look specifically at the experiences of discrimination uh, by our Asian communities here in New Zealand. We'll examine how Asians cope with discrimination, and then Jim will uh, conclude uh, the presentation looking at the importance of social inclusion and cohesion. Uh, then we'll have our commentators speak to the report. So if I start off with, uh, by way of background, to sort of set the scene, to talk about the results of our national survey on attitudes towards immigrants, immigration, and multiculturalism. And this was a survey of over 2,000 New Zealand households uh, that were randomly sampled, and it was a short telephone survey. Now, the good news is that New Zealanders do have a very strong multicultural ideology. These were some of the survey items, and as you can see, a strong majority agree that it's important to accept a wide variety of cultures in New Zealand. And Kiwis also have positive attitudes towards immigrants in general. They find that immigrants have qualities that they admire, and they acknowledge the important contributions that immigrants have made to this country. Now, uh, a question that's really important is how do New Zealanders want the immigrants to adapt, the newcomers to adapt? Also bearing in mind now that immigrants in New Zealand are approximately one in four in this country, are overseas born. And we find that there's a very strong endorsement of what we would call integration, meaning that in principles, Kiwis strongly believe that immigrants should be able to maintain their original and traditional cultures while also <coughs> adopting New Zealand cultures. So you see we've got 82% agreement with that. Kiwis don't endorse assimilation. So if you look at the notion that um, immigrants should give up their original culture for the sake of adopting New Zealand culture, we have only 21% agreement with that. So these are very fine principles. And you may think, oh, well, we know this all along because that's what New Zealanders are like. But let me, let me say to you, this is not what it's like on the international scene. So for example, I can tell you in Germany, the most commonly endorsed strategy is assimilation very assimilationist. In the Netherlands, which is often looked at as being very progressive, they're pretty equally split between endorsing integration and assimilation. So we do have, I think, very progressive uh, um, attitudes here in New Zealand, and in principle, we do like to support diversity. Also, I would say that the sense of threat and competition 
uh, in general is very low. So whether you're talking about realistic threat, about immigrants taking jobs away from Kiwis, or whether you're talking about more threat to culture and way of life, um, immigrants are not really seen in this country as posing a threat. And again, these data look very different when you compare it in the international arena. The, final, uh, the sl next slide I'd like to show, I really, I love this slide because this was from our survey. We asked if, if it's a good thing for society to be made up of people from different races, religions, and cultures. 89% of New Zealanders agreed, and that was a significantly greater percentage than found in Australia and 15 European Union countries. So what are we seeing here? That New Zealanders' attitudes towards diversity and immigration are relatively positive, but and there's going to be the but. And the, the, there's two buts, in a sense, that I'd like to mention. The first is, while we like immigrants in general, we like some immigrants more than others. And these are the favorability ratings of immigrants from various countries. And as you would see, those that are rated the most favorably, and this is on a zero to 100 scale, come from Australia, then the United Kingdom, followed by South Africa, read the white people. And then the Asian and the Pacific communities are seen, while still moderately positive, so significantly less positive than those who originate from predominantly European countries. The second but, and this is really what leads into Adrian's presentation, is that while we have, I think, very good principles, the difference comes, what about our practices? And that's what she's going to talk about. 